write <coughs> phi over 3 plus root 2 in the form of a plus b root 2 where a and b are rational numbers. Now this is an example of rationalizing the denominator. So let's write what is given. So we've got phi over 3 plus root 2. Now this is in a third form and to get a, a neat number in the, in the denominator we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator to both the numerator and the denominator. So what do I do? So we are multiplying by the conjugate. So the conjugate of 3 plus root 2 is 3 minus root 2. So if you multiply the denominator, you multiply the same thing to the numerator. So 3 minus root 2. So this becomes 5 times 3 minus root 2 divided by 3 plus root 2 times 3 minus root 2. So now to just expand the bracket, so this is 15 minus phi root 2 divided by expanding this, so 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 minus root 2 times root 2, root 2 times root 2. So this is 15 minus 5 root 2 divided by divided by uh, this can, gets cancelled so minus 3 root 2 and plus 3 root 2 gets cancelled and root 2 times root 2 becomes 2. So this is 9 minus 2 which is 7. Now writing this in this form, so this is 15 over 7 minus 5 over root 5 over 7 root 2. So just for this is enough, just to understand what the question is, A you can compare with 15 over 7, which is a rational number. A rational number is a number which has a numerator and a denominator. In fact, any number can be written other than irrational numbers, uh, uh, any number which are not irrational, root 2 is an irrational number. You cannot write this, you can't, you can write, you cannot write this as a fraction. So I'll not go into this. <clears throat> so b would be minus 5 over 7. That's all. Okay, so the next question. What's the remainder when this is divided by x minus 3? <clears throat> So according to the remainder theorem, according to the remainder theorem, let me write the remainder theorem. You can do it in two different ways. First, let's do using the remainder theorem. The remainder theorem says if, <coughs> excuse me, if, if a polynomial, if a polynomial p of x is divided by, say, x minus a, then the remainder, then the remainder is p of a. So what does this mean? How do we apply this in this example? So your p of x in this case is x raised to 4 minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 8. And your x minus a is x minus 3. So you can compare with a with 3. So according using remainder theorem you can see remainder is p of 3. That means in place of x you have to put 3. So this is 3 raised to 4 minus 5 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 8. So 3 raised to 4 is 81 minus, we'll do the exponent first, so this is 9 times <coughs> 5 is 45 minus 12 plus 8. So let me use a calculator. Uh, so this is 81 minus 45 minus 12 plus 8. 
which is 32. The remainder is 32. Or you can also use the synthetic division method. So you're dividing, uh, let me erase this. So this is one way, the, this is one way of doing it. So let me cancel this. So the other way is you have to divide this. But before dividing, you have to write this in the standard form. So in the standard form, this is x, 1x to the power 4 plus 0x cubed. Now this was a tricky question. The, you don't have an x cubed term, so minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 8. So you do the synthetic division. Hopefully you know the synthetic division. So you write the coefficients of the given polynomials, which is 1, 0, minus 5, minus 4, and 8. And you're dividing by 3. Because x minus 3, you're dividing by 3, uh, assuming or presuming that x minus 3 is a factor. So you start with 0, so you add these two. 1 plus 0 is 1, then you multiply this two. So 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 5 plus 9 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, this is 8, 8 times 3 is 24, and 32, and this is the remainder. The only catch was you had to write 0x cubed. Okay, so the next question, if, if u is equal to, if u is equal to b, 6b cis pi by 4, pi by 3, and v is 2b cis pi by 4, find u over v in polar form. So u over v, u and v are given in polar form, so this is 6b cis pi by 3. All these questions are achieved question at NCA level 1. So I've made this video to show that this is not difficult to achieve. So this is pi by 4. So using the rule, so B and B gets cancelled. So this is equal to 6. Divide You divide the absolute or the modulus and you take away the argument, which is pi by 3 minus pi by 4. Okay, so if you change this into degrees, this is 60 degrees and this is 45 degrees. So 60 minus 60 minus 45 is 15. So this is this is 3 cis. So you have to take away. So this is making this 12. So this is 4 pi by 12 minus 3 pi by 12. And so the final answer is 3 cis pi by 12. And pi by 12 is 15 degrees. Okay, or suppose if you don't like pi, you could have done like this. So this is 6b cis pi, if you want to change this into degrees. So 180 divided pi is 180 degree. So this is 60 degree. Divided by 2b cis this is pi by 4, half of pi by 2 is 90, so pi by 4 is 45 degrees. So this gets cancelled, so this is 6 divided by 2 is 3, and you take away the argument, which is 15 degrees. Both the answers are right. Okay, one more. Solve x squared minus, so let me use a different color, x squared minus 12x plus 41 equal to 0. And we want to write this in the standard or in this a plus root bi form. So using the completing square method, so this is x squared minus 12, x is equal to 40, is equal to minus 41. So first you have the coefficient, you have the coefficient of x, so minus 12 divided by 2 is minus 6. The second step is you square it. Minus 6 squared is 36. So I'm going to add 36 to both sides. So this is plus 36 plus 36. This is something that you learn by practice. So this is x minus 6, the whole squared is equal to minus 5. 
which is chi times negative 1. So you can say x minus 6 the whole squared is equal to minus 1 is 5i squared. So taking square root of both sides, you can say x minus 6 is equal to plus or minus square root of 5i squared. So you can say x minus 6 is equal to plus or minus plus or minus square root of pi times i because square root of i squared becomes i so your final answer is x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of phi i okay so you can compare your a with 6 and b with 5 okay one more if u and v are plotted in the argand diagram, so this is your u and this is your v, plot u times v in the argand diagram below. So first, we have to write u and v. So what is u? u is minus 1 plus 2i. You could have done this on a calculator, but I will do without a calculator. v is 2 minus 2i, 2 minus 2i. So you want to find u times v, which is minus 1 plus 2i times 2 minus 2i. So expanding this, so this is how much? This is minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. Minus 1 times minus 2i is plus 2i. This is plus 4i plus 4i and minus 4i squared. So let me simplify this. So this becomes 6i. So this is minus 2 plus 6i. And this becomes how much? This becomes plus 4 because i squared is negative 1. So minus 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. So your final answer is 2 plus 6i. And 2 plus 6i is this point. So this is u times v, which is 2 plus 6i. OK, one more. If u is 4 plus ki and v is 2 plus ki, find u times v. So find k if u times v is 17 minus 30i. So let's do u times v. u times v would be 4 plus ki and v is 2 plus ki. So let's expand this. So it's a 4 times 2 is 8 plus 8 ki plus 2 ki plus k squared i squared. Okay, so this is 8 plus, this is how much? This is 8ki plus 2ki is 10ki. And this is going to be minus 1. So this is minus k squared. So this simplifies to 8 minus k squared. This is the real part plus 10ki. And that is equal to minus 17 plus 30i minus okay so this is k squared sorry so this is yeah no 10k okay so you can compare what can you compare you can compare this with you can compare this with this okay and you can also compare 3k with 30 Okay, so let's compare this with, am I doing any mistake here? K, 4, K, 4 times 2 is 8. Four. Okay, 4 times, so this is a mistake, sorry. So this should be 4Ki, yeah, 4Ki. It's good always to check. So this is 6Ki. You can do both, you can do, so this is 6ki. You can do both ways, so you can say 6k, you can compare with 30. So 
we can say 6k is equal to 30. So k has to be 5. k is 5. Okay, so let's check if k is 5. So this u, so let me use a different color just to check. So your u becomes 4 plus 5i. I'm going to use my calculator and v is 2 plus 5i. Okay, so let's do also a different comparison. What can you compare? You can compare 8 minus k squared to minus 17. Okay, so if you make k squared the subject, so we're going to move this to this side, to this, to this side. So 8 plus 17 is k squared. So k squared is 25. So k is equal to 5. It can be plus or minus 5, but as we have compared here, k is 5. Okay, so let's com confirm. This time, this should give you 17 minus, minus 17 plus 30i. So let me use a calculator. So I've got an i here. So go to run menu, bracket, 4 plus 5i, just like that, bracket, 2 plus 5 shift i. Close the bracket, minus 70 plus 30i. So our answer is right. Hopefully these examples would help you. And these are simple questions. You learn only this by practice.